Welcome back to the second hour of the Stephanie Miller Show. It is six minutes after the hour. I'm Francis Callier. And I'm Angela V. Show. And we are joined in studio right now with the incredible Adam Contras. Adam, welcome. Thank you so much for coming in and being here on the Stephanie Miller Show. Adam is celebrating his 18th year today of being, I believe, the first video blogger. The first and longest running. Longest there you running. go. Today is the 18th anniversary. Wow. Ooh, amazing. Wow. Goodness. You know what? I have a question, yeah. really, as a person who has been uh, documenting for this long. Would you have thought 18 years ago that we would be in the political quagmire so deep, so, I mean, entrenched in this stuff that as it is, as we see right now? I didn't right think now. it 18 months ago. 18, yeah. 18 years ago. Preach. Are you kidding me? Preach. I've been trying to say 18 it. months ago. Think about it. 18 You're months right. ago, we were like, this isn't going to happen. Yes, yes. It happened. Right, right. You're right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. You know, and I just, what I think about it was just because Angela's a person who journals. And, you know, and so it just like, having that kind of diary of yourself must be in the world. And what's going on must be incredible. It's funny because in uh, 2012, I did a video called The Age of Unenlightenment, where I was mm -hmm. talking about the, the Republican um primaries mm -hmm. and going some crazy stuff is going on this is nuts something's yeah. we in the water this doesn't make any sense how are these the herman cain like i couldn't the whole thing was just so bizarre and during obama's administration we watched a shift as i always say in mm -hmm. what was considered a fact and we now live in this fact-free society where one side of the world or the country has their own press yeah. Their own newspaper, their own TV shows, wow. their own radio shows. Yeah. And then there's the rest of it. And we're stuck in the middle of this bizarre quagmire. Yeah. And I don't know how to get out of it. Yes. And, you know, and people keep on saying, I keep on seeing th uh, think pieces being written about how we need to reach out. And, you know, <laughs> to to those people. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, you don't bring back a stump. No, what you need, I mean, there's ha almost half of this country over that doesn't vote at all. Yeah. Like, like I mean, I feel like I'm at peace with my current relationship with Nazis, mm -hmm. um, which is that I don't have one. <laughs> right. You know, um, I, I feel like that that can be what it is. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe they'll change. Maybe they won't. I still think that that's a percentage of the Trump voters and you guys all think I'm crazy. No, no I don't think you're crazy. It's, it's easy crazy. to, to it, it, make, it makes us feel really good to just think mm -hmm. that's what it is. But well, no, I know it's rich people. It's 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 it's, 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 it's all the demographics, yes. but at the end of the day, when you talk to them about what they believe has happened or is happening, they have a different set of facts. Yeah, and, and, and a, a, a different set of values. Uh, yes. Maybe. I'm, no, they I'm do. I, 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 I'll I, go with you on facts, too. No, I, I hear you, but I know a lot of people. I'm from Ohio, mm -hmm. so believe me, I know Trump supporters. Yes. And uh, we, our values aren't that different. Our set of facts are different. What they believe was true well, about Hillary yes. Clinton is right. completely different than the set of facts I have. And Actually, and, and, I would and, agree with that. You know, you, uh, when you're talking about race, uh, Colin Kaepernick, I, I would have mm -hmm. these arguments when that happened about, you do realize that he talked to a guy in the military. Mm, yes, yeah. he did. And they said, Be right. take a knee. Yeah. Exactly. Right? He followed, is, he followed his direction. I watched, I, I read the interview, yes. I listened to the guy on radio, on NPR, and I. Or, there was such a great story. Every single person who wants to kill Colin Kaepernick right now know. doesn't know that. Yeah. yeah. They think I'm lying. I'm like, it's on a military website. Mm -hmm. Here's the link. Mm -hmm. I, I, again, I think the reason you see so much polarization is because they have these facts that aren't true. Yeah. That they believe in their heart. And we believe the facts that are true or aren't true sometimes. Right. And we fight to the death. But we're all reading different books. Yeah. Guys, Trump has been the same yep. forever. Yep. The issue is the electorate and the fact that they're uninformed. Yeah. Yes. And they're man. not even... Trump yes. has been Mr. Burns. He was the parody of the worst president in the history yeah. of ideas for presidents yes. 15 years ago, right? Yes. On The Simpsons. Yeah. Yeah, now, who could be the worst president in the world? It'd be Donald Trump. Ah, ha, ha. Amazing. And now it's, now it's a reasonable choice. And either you're going to make fun of my beard, 
And I, and I, I come in here three months ago ball. saying it's Sean, all over, Sean, and then I come back looking like, like this. The, 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 uh, it died again while recording. It just you know I didn't know if it was again. Okay. So I changed the USB port to see if that helped. I've been around a lot of mentally ill people, so I know. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. This is only that you brought it. This is only like two months. It isn't grooved at all, man. I went like this. I went like this in the morning. I went all right, whatever. And the American girl. Yes! Welcome back. back. Yes. Welcome back to the Stephanie Miller Show. I'm Frances Callier. And I'm Angela V. Shelton. We're joined in the studio by the fabulous, the incredible, Adam. incomparable Adam Contras. Are you ever on with anybody that's not incredible? Yeah. Well, okay, okay, I just Yeah, yeah but not on this show. Not on this show. Not on this show. Not on this everybody show. on this show is I was incredible. very flattered the first time. Who we have to discuss. Really quick, three two three four six eight eleven thirty five, and also, um, because you opened it up on the yeah. break. Um, Adam yeah. has a um, what would you say a uh, a beard that is um, yeah. overpowering? Yes. And, yes. and 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 what's the it's, word it's, I want here? It's, it's dramatic. It's dramatic. It's, it's dramatic it's drama. I yeah. came. I came it's here. Story. I came here in September telling you it's all over. Mm-hmm. I'd given up on hope. <laughs> yes, you did. And I walked back in here. Yes. <laughs> looking like Wilson. <laughs> I know. I know, man. I did this just for you. I usually shave in the new year. And I'm like, no, no, I'm keeping this for Frangela. I thought it was hysterical because you were like, why didn't you make fun of me? And I was like, oh, because we know crazy people. Right. <laughs> and the thing about crazy people is you've got to, they have to open that door. You, you don't open it first. Mm-hmm. You don't open it first. You go, what's up with the beard? No, and then, you, then you're on the floor going, I did, you know what, I did that to myself. You yeah. should know me better to know you can give me crap about <laughs> everything. I, I mean, while not being a beard person per se, it looks groomed to me. And it looks, it don't, you don't look like you've given up. See, the rest of your dress. Oh, you I clean. have dressed. Yes, that is true. Three, two, three, four, six, eight, eleven, thirty-five. I, before the break, brought up that Iowa went big for Trump, and there are signs that his voters are souring on the president. It says as Republicans celebrated their tax bill passed in Congress late last month, Iowa Democrats raised a, a toast of their own. Candidates for Congress and government gathered at a, a annual pro, pro, progress progress Iowa holiday party, and they were like, you know what? This is the waking of the sleeping bear. And then other vote Trump voters are like. You know what? That's right. Because we're <laughs> south. Adam, Adam, Adam is rolling his eyes and doing all sorts of things that would cause my mama to reach in the backseat and smack you. <sighs> okay, Grumpy Kitty, what is it? What, I, you already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> How many times am I going to say it? What it doesn't mean? matter. I hear you. I hear you loud and clear. It, it's a midterm. I obviously think the Democrats will, will, will get a little sliver of a majority. You do need two-thirds to, right. to remove, by the way. Right, right, right. right. Just right. so we remember that. Mm-hmm. Everybody's like, oh, Democrats are going to take over. He's going to get impeached. No, no. the 67, we're never going to have 67 or anything in the Senate. Yeah. So that's out. But yes, of course they're going to sour a bit because mm-hmm. he didn't put the wall up. He didn't kill all the black people like he said he would. He didn't. Come on. I mean, yes. there's a million reasons why right, you right. can sour on Trump. But here's the thing. I believe that we are seeing some cracks Dude, in the found. You got the wrong guy for the first day of the new year for hope. <laughs> You're like, hey, let's have a hopeful 2018. Let's bring on Adam Conner. Okay, but Adam, was there anything? Did you feel like any of we had some really great progressive resistance moments? How do you think, like, the women's, we're going to have another women's march? And that'll be, I believe, bigger than last time. I have, I'm hoping. World. I'm listen, hoping. Listen, since I've I, 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 I've been here, the whole the whole woman like sexual harassment thing has been pretty awesome. Like, yeah, it's it been is pretty amazing. awesome to watch. There we go. There we go. I, there we I, go. I've been very hopeful for that. I'll, I'll give you that. But That's po- huge. But, but politics. Yeah. Huge. But, 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 but what we're talking about now is women in politics. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, as well as political. It's all yes. Over. Yeah, yes. No, yeah. No, no, I think that I am so happy to hear that. Yeah, That's great. That. That's great. There we go. There we go. Let's talk to Just Anita now. Let's talk to <laughs> Anita in Texas. Anita, you're on the Stephanie Miller show. Good morning, guys. Good morning. I'm sorry, I have to disagree with Adam when he said he didn't think the majority of Trump supporters were racist. <laughs> Because mm-hmm. he started his campaign, his political career, as a birther. Yes. And then he opened his campaign calling Mexicans rapists and criminals. And you know what? That made him very popular mm-hmm. in the Republican primary. That's why he won. That's mm-hmm. what they wanted to hear. But Hillary yes. Clinton had a pedophile ring in a pizza parlor. So they had no... <laughs> so so if, if that is your fact, you have to sit there and balance that That's between the fact. two. It's no. What he's saying is that they believe that. That's what they believe. He doesn't believe that. Before you start writing it, Adam doesn't believe that. Yeah, I don't believe that. But what I'm saying is, is that if you have to choose between a pedophile and and somebody who grabs him by the pee, 
Well, uh, you know, it, it, right. it becomes well, a different I, decision. Me, can Go I ahead. say something about yes, the word that you use? You say fact. Mm -hmm. They have your facts. We have our facts. No, there, there's no two different sets of facts. Right. I know that. Right. Facts, that. And we shouldn't use that word. when there, right, there, right. There's your delusion. Mm -hmm. Right. Fact. So, and so, I, think, so I think the point, like, he's, you know, he's being, he's being sardonic there. Yeah, but I have a question. I have a question really quickly. So if, if we're not, if they're delusions, how do you reach a delusional person? You don't. You don't, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure we can. There's always going to be that certain percentage of Americans or people around the world that are kind of delusional. Yeah. But they're delusional yeah. because their there. newspaper says it, their TV show says well, it, their radio yeah. says it. See, that's where I'm going to disagree it. with you. That's where I'm going to disagree with you because I think that it. what happens is they go to the places that reinforce the thought they started How, with. They don't even you know, need to. But well, they, but then, don't but they do. To. But that's what I'm saying, that they look for, well, Facebook does it for you. They algorithm right. you up with it, yeah. the things that you've already showed an interest in. Mm -hmm. But I think that people start with, a, they start with a premise, and I think that it can be complex but simple all at once. It's the same thing we did with anybody who would vote for Roy Moore must be A, B, or C, right? Mm -hmm. Well, if we were sitting there and it was Justin, uh, Justin Weiner, I almost said Justin Bieber. Uh, <laughs> Anthony uh, Weiner. Anthony Weiner right. and uh, Jeff Sessions, mm -hmm. what would we have done? If those were our choices for Senate. Right. right. Uh, but those, that's, it's kind of a false comparison. It is, but what I'm saying that is, is, is that at the end choice. of the day, you start thinking, of, well, what's the greater good? Uh, see, what I'm telling what, what, you is, uh, I think you do that. I think these, you're, you look, I so do not know people, for? but this is what I'm saying. Start, go a step back from that. What you're saying is that people went and looked at these candidates from some sort of honest and free place. Right. Like, I'm just going to look at what I know. And then they got things, they saw this information, these alternative facts or what we call lies, and they chose. I think people went, they come in with the bias and then they're looking well, yeah, for they something hate to Democrats. justify. Well, no, I think right. they hate minorities. I think they hate different ethnicity. You know, I think they hate foreigner. They they they're afraid. They hate their own situation. They hate um, some people are anti-choice. Whatever yeah. they hate, gay people. Whatever it is, whatever the bias is. Not that they that we all sat that we all sit down and look at our options from a zero bias, zero prejudice, and then we happen to run into information and choose from that. I think right, but it's very clear that, that step before this that, fall right. you're probably going to vote Democrat, right? That's probably oh, clear, not right? just probably. Okay, yeah. so, unless, unless we can get a third party that really could do it. All right. So, <laughs> so when it comes to a choice, if all of a sudden there's all these sexual harassment allegations, which is going to happen, yes, mm -hmm. uh, and you now have a choice. Oh, th this Democratic uh, senator uh, candidate uh, had sex with a 14 year old girl. Mm -hmm. Would you suddenly go, okay, I'm going to vote for the Republican? I, I saw a great piece that somebody wrote uh, over the holiday. They were talking about for Republican voters, uh, for Roy Moore in Alabama, black people voting is is voter, you know, yeah. theft. <laughs> mm -hmm. Your president of the United States believes the same thing. Roy, he, there, there is not a lot of daylight between Roy Moore and Donald Trump. No, none. Which is why he could... Endorse him. Of course. Full throatedly. I, I can't with them. Like, I can't with the governor of uh, saying that she said, you know, yeah, I believe the women for, who've accused Roy Moore of this harassment and assault. I believe them, but we need that vote. Yeah. Like, that's a special kind of lack of ethics that I really find. It, I mean, I know it. Maybe I shouldn't be shocked, Adam. Do should I not be shocked that somebody would actually say it out loud? I think Democrats would do it. I think they would do the same thing possibly, but would they say it? Like she can, these people cannot. Yeah. Okay. Say fair it. enough. Yes. There's less shame. Yeah. Like okay, the fact fine. that they're just because no, I'm like you would really just say that. Well, here's like, the thing. That to me, like, I, we I don't know that's what's going on. I have but to throw this. I have to throw this out. Do, I don't think Democrats behave the same way. And that and and, and 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 to our detriment, we don't. Well, we don't. Wish, there's some things yes. I wish we were more. Flexible on. Well, because because <laughs> here there we were a few weeks ago in you know. A, an incredible turmoil about what we should do about Al Franken. And if we behave the same way, Al Franken would still be a senator right now, today. Well, that we don't choice. behave yeah. the same way. No, and here's the thing. And, you know, it's uh, yes, you can say yes, absolutely. It was his choice, but the reality was he was drummed out. Democrats yeah. feel better being right. Yes. And losing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I will, I will well, give you I will You give know what? I, would, I have to agree with that, that it is more important to me to actually do good than to be thought of as good. Yes. You know Not what thought I mean? of, yeah. just yeah. having power to actually have yes. legislation that helps people. Yes. yes. We've interviewed this woman, Buffy Wicks, who's running for the first time for um, a state seat. Um, and she's amazing, and she's, like, in the Oakland area. Um, and there are people, like, I think that we're, we're about to see 
is exactly what Representative Jankowski, Jan Schakowsky said in Chicago uh, when she was at the Sexy Liberal show, tour show. She said that she believes in history. People, when people look back at this time, they won't be talking about Donald Trump. They'll talk about how this era brought in the greatest progressive era in American history that showed the greatest rise in people being involved in their government. Yes. And I believe that. Yeah. Let's talk to I Sue. You, probably, you may not, Adam. Like, I believe that. Let's I talk believe to, you believe let's that. Talk to Sue and <laughs> oh, we could duke it out, you and me. Oh, we could have fun. Oh, could we? I, I'm just... I'm, oh, yeah. You know what's hard for me? I'm really trying to remember not to one swear. Oh, one shot first. Because we... Because... It's hard. It's on our podcast. We can swear. And oh, yeah. Swear at the last. Yeah. Okay. That was, didn't have a, yeah, that's, that's, I can't even imagine. Oh, okay. It's really hard. I could do it for an hour. <laughs> Stephanie Miller. Welcome back to the Stephanie Miller Show. I'm Francis Gallier. I'm Angela B. Show. We are sitting in for Mama in the Mooks while Mama is on vacay, well-deserved. We're here in the studio with Adam Contras. Thank you so much for being here. Yes. Adam, yes. one of the things, you do so many interesting things. Have you seen the newest interesting thing I'm doing? No. Oh, I it, there's going to be a video game <gasps> in my backyard. What? what? A video game? Hey, I'm doing a podcast, finally. Yeah, well, with tell Mayor us about Goldie it. Wilson. Let's the talk about it. Here. The mayor. What's going uh, on? I, I got to do it monthly because I can't get this guy to ever show up to anything. Mm. <laughs> I was going to do weekly. I'm like, I'm not going to call it. I'm, this is going to be too hard. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, video podcast. Flashing the fundamentals. Nice. Jump on uh, on Facebook. He's a he's flashy. He's Goldie Wilson. Nice. You know who I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's wonderful. And also, oh. can we talk about the DeLorean? Oh, we got the DeLorean too. Yeah. So tell us about the DeLorean. What's to tell? I I, I rent the DeLorean from Back to the Future. <laughs> I mean, that's I what I do. Seriously. RentTheDeLorean.com. Come, come rent the DeLorean. And you will drive it to somebody? I, we drive it. We tow it. We ship it. We do whatever we got to do to get to, to what, whatever. It's crazy. I love the pictures that you post. You know, people have it at weddings and bar mitzvahs and I, all kinds of I'm things. I'm actually stunned. I really did think it was going to be a one-year thing. The big 30-year anniversary, mm -hmm, I thought right. it would be really popular, and then I would go on and do something else. Mm -hmm. And... People are still, it's like the 80s aren't going to die. Yeah. You know, like this 80s nostalgia is never moving. That's it, great. It, it got to like 1992, 93. And that's it. No one's moving past that. And I love it because Angela and I are such big pop culture fans. And then also another interesting fact that if you don't know Adam Contras, you have a full-on mini golf set up in your backyard that you built. That's why yourself. I have the time machine. I built a mini golf course in my backyard and... Well, if you have a mini golf, you have to have a time machine, right? <laughs> so that's what I did next. And then, yeah, I'm making a video game um, about building that uh, mm -hmm. backyard. You build the backyard, and then you play it against other people. And lovely. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And at the holes, you have uh, pop culture stuff, right? Yes, it's all 80s pop culture yeah. on every hole. Almost every hole. How many holes? Nine. Wow. Uh, you got to come play it, guys. I know. And there's a bar on the course. That's how you're gonna get there. Yeah, that's how you, you forgot gonna, about that. That's how you're gonna. That is how you're gonna right? get me there. <laughs> that is how you're gonna get me there. So, what are your what's your your ideas? What do you think is gonna happen in 2018? Give us I a think prediction. Trump a prediction. will be indicted. Okay, you think uh, so? Obstruction of justice, uh, perjury. But believe me, by the time he does get interviewed, how does he avoid perjury? Uh, abuse of power. Mm -hmm. I think all that stuff will happen. But I believe that there certainly they won't impeach. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, maybe if the Democrats take over, maybe the House actually does the impeachment, but he won't be removed. Right. Um, and uh, I think that the whole idea, the constitutional idea of whether or not you can actually indict a sitting president mm -hmm. will just drag it out. Yeah. And nothing will ever happen. You think he's going to do the full four years? You know, I, I, that well, I don't you know. You can't say that. Remember, you promised me you would never say that. Yeah, I... <laughs> As I said before, it's the easiest impeachment in the history of impeachment. He shouldn't do it. Right. But again, without a functioning press, there's mm -hmm. no reason for them to impeach. Yeah. You know, our our our, our congressmen aren't going to do anything unless their votes are in, in trouble. And if Trump's press, his state-run media, basically, mm -hmm. is telling the base that Mueller's dirty, yes. Well, then the indictments don't matter, mm -hmm. and that's the end of it. It is the end of it. You know, I I. I, for Angela's sake, I agree. I agree with you in terms of the indictments. Right. I believe that I do believe that sooner or later, 
the hopefully the shame of what's going on. I know, don't laugh at me, Anna. <laughs> shame. Uh, I'm gonna laugh at you. I don't think he feels that. Shame. The man just took credit for commercial Are airline and shit? not having any deaths in 2017. Shame. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here, Adam yeah. Condors. We'll be back taking your phone calls here at 323-468-1135. We are friends we'll sitting in for Mom and the Mooks here on the Stephanie Miller Show. Were you trying to get a rise out of me? They don't feel no damn shame. You were making that up to make me lose my mind. You don't really believe. She does. I do. That's where she, that's where she, she outlines.